Indian Army may soon get new generation tanks FRCV, future ready combat vehicle. The Defense Ministry has issued a global request for information, RFI, on November for development and manufacturing of FRCV under the strategic partnership model in collaboration with an Indian partner. Under the joint development plan, the design will be provided by the foreign original equipment manufactured to the selected Indian strategic partner. New Delhi The Indian Army's next main battle tank, the tank for the 2020s, till the middle of this century is the FRCV or Future Ready Combat Vehicle. Currently, the Indian Army has the T-90 tank in the indigenous Arjun a heavier tank of over 60 tons but the first steps towards a new tank have been taken with the Defense Ministry issuing a request for information last week. In addition, such a push indicates India's moving away from indigenous tank projects like Arjun tanks and reduction in dependence on Russian origin tanks. Due to different operational scenarios and for maintaining combat edge over an adversary, the Army needs to induct latest medium weight class tanks to replace the vintage D 72 tank fleet. The Army is seeking induction of the FRCVs by 2025 27. Accordingly, the RFI was issued to procure 1,770 FRCVs in a phased manner. The FRCV is planned to be used for rapid dominance in the battlefield with real time awareness agility, lethal firepower and multi-layered protection. The Army wants it to be able to conduct operations during day and night and respond to anti-tank and anti-aircraft threats, including low-flying manned and unmanned rotary aircraft. It is likely to be employed in varied terrains, including high-altitude areas, deserts and mountainous terrain. The Army has decided on the specifications. The FRCV is expected to weigh 50 tons, plus or minus 15 percent, top army sources said. This is to ensure that it can be used in different parts of the country even along the border. The bridges on the canals cannot allow heavier tanks. As a result, the only place where tanks that weigh 60 tons and more can be used is in the Jaisma sector, in the open desert. The FRCV will be designed after discussions with a foreign collaborator and tanks of four different countries are being looked at Russian, Ukrainian, French and South Korean tanks. The Army expects that it will partner one of the four countries to produce the FRCV in the next decade. All four are in the 50 tons vicinity. A special attempt has been made to keep the weight of the tank to around 50 tons and this keeps out several top-of-the-line tanks like the German Leopard and the American M1 Abrams, both of which touch 60 tons. The Israeli armored vehicles are also considered too heavy. India, which wants to acquire such technologies including design know-how, is in the process of developing an industrial ecosystem for such vehicles. The FRCV will also have to take into account 10 years performance-based logistics and life cycle support for about 50 years. The second stage will the production of the FRCLV. This will be a variant of the FRCV and will weigh about 30 tons. This can be used in the Ladakh area and even in second parts of Gujarat like Budj, the Andamans and outside the country, if necessary. The Army's current weight requirement for tanks puts the indigenous Arjun at a disadvantage. Two regiments of 125 tanks are already with the Indian Army and two more asked for, provided the spares situation is better. Again, the Arjun is heavy, at 62 tons and the Arjun 2 could be 68 tons. The high cost about rupees 44 crores is also a problem. As a result, the Arjun's use will be limited only in the open Rajasthan desert. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.